everybody. I've got a 45 minute soul journey session that I'm doing for clients. So I'm going to be sharing energy work and wisdom. I'm going to go ahead and read the goals and then I'll be getting connected. Okay, goals are, I was curious about the feeling I get of me being here before on this earth. And I was just wondering if you could tell me also about the entities around me that I can sense. Just letting you know, I don't feel that they are good entities. I feel like I'm a dark spirit lashing out. Okay. We're going to learn a lot today. I'm just absorbing your goals in here, okay? All right. Okay, let's see here. feel kind of asleep and I see a man and he's in the shadow but he's a statue and he's got kind of um it's a black statue it's not particularly tall or large and it seems to be made out of metal and he's got a like a wild west uh, type hat and outfit and a gun pointed And then around him, there's what is like a beach scene. And this too, it's like black water instead of blue water and, and dark skies. And this uh, cowboy-like image in, with the gun pointing, it's pointing towards the ocean. And there seems to be trouble knowing how to move forward, what direction, how to break through this metal statue form. There's a lot of sadness here in your heart. A lot of sadness. And you're not going to let the ocean water be felt. So your feet are cold like metal and they don't feel the ocean water. I know the water looks black, but the water is actually calling out to help you. So is it you that has created black water? And there's some anger also so... What is it, a stubbornness because it hurts and I don't want to feel the water even if it's here to help me? <sighs> Things are going to be changing for you <sighs> because you've been standing like this for long enough. So there has to be movement and change. There has to be thing is you could choose a pathway of not feeling anything as in not letting the love touch you it's gonna get pretty dark or you can break down that cold metal and you can give in to the love and let the love heal you let the love in and as I see you in this form with the gun pointing, I also see um, in another hand, you're holding um, a lantern and a very small light is glowing. And you want to be guided by the light. Thing is, it's like, You've captured the light in a box. Now it's a lantern. Now you possess the light in the lantern. And you're not setting the light free to guide you. You're just controlling the light. You're controlling the ocean and saying, no, you can't touch me. Now look at me, I've got the light. But in the end, where is it getting you? It's turning you into a metal statue. And it's... it's pushing away the opportunity to let love in and let love guide you. 
so you were saying that you feel like a dark spirit lashing out and this is absolutely what I see here you are being influenced by wounds and hurt to push love away so you are the dark spirit lashing out but as of yet, I'm not walking into any negative entities, but we're just getting started here as well. They want to show me this first. And your spirit guides say that we're not going to force you to change. So if you want to be a metal statue, then go for it and let's see where your life takes you. It's going to be cold and lonely. And the only thing you're going to have in your life is capturing and controlling the light and telling the love, you can't touch me. So does control make you happy? Is control true love? Or is it the wounds and the bitterness, the stubbornness inside you that now locks you in a prison within yourself? Manipulating yourself into thinking that it's better this way when it's not. You're feeling a bit exposed and naked. And you're trying to work with the bitterness and the anger in order to block out this message. But it's cracking the shell of this metal frame and you're being exposed. Because what this tells me is deep down inside, you do want to feel loved. And none of this is actually truly you. Thing is, is you don't, it's like, you don't know how to allow yourself to be touched by love. It's like, it's like um, foreign. And it makes you so vulnerable. And you don't like that vulnerability feeling. And you want the ocean to be black. You want it to be dark. Because if you can taint the love, then it doesn't make you feel so vulnerable. Because now the love can be just as dark as you are. And now you can capture the light and control it. But the light is patient. So there's really nothing you're accomplishing here except whatever you're manipulating yourself into thinking you're accomplishing. We're going to learn a lot more. I say, let it out, get pissed, get angry. Tell me what you got, show me what you got. Let your vulnerabilities out, let's see them. Okay, so you're coming in as a bit of a dark entity. You yourself are coming in as a dark entity. And there's lots of rats and uh, gross things and they're crawling all over me in the dark and you transform into the Joker and you've got, um, you're sort of laughing at me, but I'm just standing here and I say, none of this has any effect on me. You're manipulating yourself into believing that you can control me. Like you put light into a lantern. You have a really cold heart. And that doesn't mean you're necessarily a cold person, but it's become cold. And your heart needs to remember what the warmth feels like, which makes you vulnerable. <sighs> You want me to be affected by this. You want to create fear. And you keep insisting that I'm bothered and you will continue to pester me until I break. Hmm. I say, will you show me a little bit about yourself? So I'm going to show you a little bit about me now.
There's some venting. And I'm touching your heart right now, but I'm going into your frozen heart. And it's going to get very, very, very vulnerable. Because I'm warm. And I'm going to melt the ice. And without the ice, what are you? You're exposed. There's no rats here. And love is pure and honest and true. And it isn't wounded or bitter and it's not making choices based on anything except love and caring, kindness, compassion, patience. You're doing quite, um, I mean, you're, you're creating like you're, you're like really working hard on focusing really hard on keeping your heart stable in, in this cold, frigid way. You really are insisting that there's nothing I can do. And you show me again that I'm trapped in your frozen heart. Now you really love the idea of trapping, controlling. So are they dark entities or are you the dark one? Because this is you. This is actually you. I'm just going to stay here for a little while. We're slowly phasing back to the scene with the dark ocean and you're naked and you feel like um, you've been cornered, that I'm manipulating you, that it's not fair, you tricked me. I say I'm helping you remember the truth. That's all I'm doing is helping you remember the truth because this is all wounds we're talking about and wounds that are directing your pathway and it's making it cold and lonely and it's inspiring the need to trap and control and none of this stuff is actually you. It's what you've become inspired to be but the true you is beneath the surface of all this stuff. I'm just helping you get back to the true you beneath the surface. Okay, very disorienting here in the mental body. Exhausting. Exhausting. Okay, let's see. So you've got a gun and you're pointing it at me and you aren't afraid to shoot and you show me that the gun goes off and the bullet is going through my heart and it's burning a hole in my heart and it kind of is like well if you're going to warm my heart then I'm going to burn yours it's like again what are you doing like trying to create fear you're trying to attack me that doesn't make you special that doesn't make you beautiful that doesn't make you anything but a liar and you're lying to yourself. And there's nothing you can do to hurt me. Because I'm not the one hurting here. You are. I say, what is it you're having a hard time letting go of? Because I'm here to help. I'm not here to have a pissing contest like I'm here to actually help you because I can tell that deep down inside you desperately want the love so something is blocking you from letting that in and we got to find out what that is so we can nurture it and perhaps that's the past lifetime that you're talking about feeling like you've lived on earth before and that may be what we need to nurture here. 
in order to change all of this for you because you could have a totally different timeline, totally different future, totally different experiences. And I'm telling you, if you keep on this road, it's literally going to provide nothing but suffering and misery and more darkness for you. And that's not what you want. So that's not actually what you want. I can tell you right now, <laughs> deep down inside, you are agreeing with me. <laughs> so all of this response, it all stems back to hurt, okay? So are you a dark spirit lashing out or are you just simply hurt? So we got to find that wound. It's a pretty painful one, that's for sure, because... <sighs> okay. <sighs> just a second. <sighs> There's just some stress going on here. <sighs> stress. <sighs> okay. Okay, so what is it? What is this wound? I mean, so when I explore this wound and I I go, I decide, okay, I'm at the wound now and then I touch ener it energetically. I mean, you are like wincing and screaming in agony and pain and I'm just touching it. That's it. That's how painful whatever this is, is. And that's how unreconciled it is as well. I say we're going in here, you know, and let's do this together because there's no way I'm going to make you go through this pain all by yourself. It's simply too much. You need to be supported. You, you are showing me yourself as um, too weak. And like um, is somebody who just got washed up onto a beach after being like uh, in the ocean for seven days, you know, <laughs> and you're just, you have nothing left in you and you are thirsty without water. And so you're showing me and you're just saying, I can't do it. I'm too weak. I say, well, then I'm going to carry you. <sighs> and you need to face this because... This is just creating a reason or an excuse to not face this. <sighs> Alright, so the first thing I experience is sitting on a tack, literally. It punctures my butt. I mean, I, like, I feel a puncture on my butt and it's a tack. <laughs> and it hurts it's like literally still in my skin like yeah, I'm gonna have to pull it out it's it's messed up and wrong it's not gonna kill me but it's gonna hurt and I'm gonna notice it and it's gonna be really disturbing and I'm gonna have to pull it out and I'm not gonna like anything having to do with this <laughs> that's the, the scene that I'm looking at here All right, they show me now you, and there's like a thousand tacks in on both butt cheeks. I was just saying, <laughs> it's just just a reflection of yourself, so that we can understand what this wound is. This is the first thing that we're seeing, and you've got thousands of tacks, like, and it's all, all like even coming around the sides too. So it's not just in the butt cheeks, and they're just like like literally like a golden tacks or whatever. And there is a, a sexual image on the other side. And you're being pleasured by a woman who is um, pleasuring you, mas your masculine parts, with her mouth. <sighs> Thing is, is it's entirely numb. It's not like... Um, you don't even know you have tacks in your butt. <laughs> and everything's entirely numb. It's just, what am I looking at right now? 
but it's not what am I feeling right now. It's just simply what am I looking at right now. So you can't even tell that you sat on thousands of tacks. Can't even feel this experience. You're just looking at it. You're participating in it and looking at it and that's as far as it goes. And it just seems like that's kind of the order of things. But the thing is, is this female never stops. Like it's just a stuck in position. Like this isn't going away. And so it, this helps you because if this, if the, she, you could be receiving this oral pleasure for a year, you might finally start to feel it. So you just need her to keep doing this and, and just keep doing this because you'll be able to feel it. Just give me more time. And she is. She's giving you more and more and more and more time. And you're slowly starting to feel this. Slowly after like a year of time. I mean, that's what this, this, the timeline of this image is showing me a very long time passing. You still don't know you have tax. I mean, you still don't know you sat on tax. Um, but you're slowly feeling something, you know. And um, it's starting to become a bit, um, you're handcuffed to a bar that is above your head. And so you're now stuck in this position. You can't leave it. And you're okay with that because that gives you permission to just let this keep happening. And she's somewhat um, chained to you as well. And there's um, somebody else here, like a darker being here, that's um, watching this. Mm. And this being is actually the one receiving all of your pleasure. So you are getting a little bit of pleasure out of this, but this being is taking like 90% of it. And it's just... It's like, just keep going. Just, I need a year. Yeah, I just keep going. Just keep, I need, just give me more time. Just give me all the while this being is just like drooling with pleasure and joy. <laughs> so none of this is really being received by you. It's just going to some other um, spirit. So you have to start saying, I'm ready to start feeling now the truth. I'm ready to start feeling and seeing and becoming more aware of the truth of what this is all about. And don't be afraid of it. That's one thing I want to tell you is don't be afraid of any, any of it. And, and fear is, I mean, we can all say that we're tough until we actually have to face something that would make us piss our pants, right? So this, you, the more you become, choose to become aware, the more you choose to feel, this could get very difficult, okay? And it could become um, a battle to get yourself out of this. But I'm telling you, you need to get yourself out of this. Or you can just stay a metal statue. <sighs> the interesting thing here is that, so you do, your spirit is coming through as, as dark and tormented, okay? And that's why you're having these responses to push the light away or control light. That's what tormented souls do. That's what demons do. Right. So, um, I don't, I mean, you're, you're a spirit that has been wounded and you're choosing to work through the wound in this way. All right. Now this spirit that is feeding off of the sexual experience, it's interesting because it's not this, it's not you, it's some other spirit. However, it reminds me of you. <laughs> So what does that mean? They, my spirit guides tell me the best way for us to work through this with our human minds is to see this as separate from yourself, as what would be considered your best friend is actually raping you without you realizing it <laughs> in the spirit realm. That's what's happening. Again, 
what about control? So you can control light on a level, but now you can also be controlled too. So now you're the little light in a box that's being used and controlled and fucked with. All right. It just, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. So what, whoever this being is, the same things you want. He's just in a little box too, and he's being manipulated and controlled by some other being. And it goes on and on. It's like a big domino effect. So imagine this. You find a way to stop this, and you mess up this domino effect and every single spirit connected to it. Now they're all forced to change because of you. Now you're the angel. You're the angel that chose to heal yourself, which is also healing all these other spirits that are attached. Because once you become the light that you are, they are going to be extremely challenged by that. <sighs> All right, now things are looking different. She was uh, quite good looking. She looks really disgusting now. She looks like a troll with... You wouldn't want to look at this. I mean, it's like uh, slimy skin. So slimy, it's drips. And it's like a brownish... Um, it doesn't look like natural skin. And the lips are just really gross. Like the eyes, there's hair in weird places. It's just a thing. It's a gross troll-like thing that is now pleasuring you. And this is flipping terrifying. And now you feel the pain in your butt and you can't, you don't have your hands so you can't get the tax out and you're trapped and you're screaming and you're being tortured in another dimension. And this other spirit is just laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing at how stupid you are. I mean, that's literally what he's saying. You think you have control. <laughs> See how this is very uh, stressful and aggravating? Like, I mean, you're you're like, oh my. You're like saying, oh, fuck. I mean, you're like disgust. Like, what? <laughs> you're doing this. You're just like, oh my god. Like, this clarity is like really m the freaking you out. And I say, I want you to remember what I did for you. Y nobody has control over you, remember? You don't have control over me. You can want me to feel pain, but I won't. Because I don't care about what you want. If you want me to feel pain, then I don't care about what you want. It's nothing to do with me. That's your pain. So in this scene... Same thing applies. You can say, wow, thank you for this clarity. And now I know what I can do here. And that's just to allow everything to just be as it is, but to honor what it is that I want now out of life. And it has nothing to do with this mousetrap. <laughs> it's bad. But this is easier to get out of once you learn this technique, okay? Because nobody can hurt you. Nobody in the energy realms can hurt you. All you can do is hurt yourself. This is really hard to get out of for you. And I start to see more of these trolls, um, these female troll-like things just starting to surround you. And they're all like desperately desiring you they're all over you they're just freaking and you're they're just messing with your head so bad you're you're becoming it's like you transform into male and female and like on and on and on so you can be um imprisoned and like pleasured by disgusting things and you're freaking out you're screaming and now you're experiencing as a female you're experiencing it as a male and you can't get out of this but they want you to feel pleasure. Remember, you just need another year, just another year, and you'll feel it. Just remember, you just, and they keep saying this. And they just go on and on and on, and this being just, just laughs and feeds off of all of this. 
I say again, you're thinking too much here. You're thinking way too much here. One thing is you don't know who you are. You think you're a human being. You're not a human being. You just happen to be experiencing a lifetime here as a human being on earth that doesn't make you a human being. You're everything. You're an infinite interdimensional being. You're full of energetic power and it's time to get honest with yourself about what love is. Because when you're on the other side of the candlestick and you're the one getting burned, it's not very fun. But it's teaching you something about what is it that you want. Do you want to push love away or do you want love to come and help you? Because your spirit guides are wanting you to see this so that you can make a firm decision. You can decide that I'm not ready yet. And that's actually perfectly okay. You have a right to do that. There's nothing wrong with saying that because this is your soul journey. It's whatever you want it to be. And if you're not ready yet, that's fine. And don't be ready for love because you're afraid of what's going on here. <laughs> Choose love because you want to choose love, okay? Choose love because you're learning something about what love means to you. So I start to see that this conversation with you, it, it brings a light back into your heart. It's like that light that was in the, um, that lantern was your light. It was like you had imprisoned your own light and you were holding it like as many feet away from you as you could get it. And now that light is starting to return to you and it's warming your heart all by itself. And as that warms your heart, all this stuff, it's like the whole scene is, is changing because you can say no to this if you don't want this. You're not a victim of it. You chose to experience it. Now you can choose to not experience it. And that's that. And the light is reminding you of what your true power is and who you truly are. And what is good in this world. And what creates goodness in this world. And you can create goodness in this world. Goodness in yourself goodness for others and none of this has to do with well I better choose love because I'm afraid of anything else it's like oh shoot I better go to church on Sunday so I don't go to hell no you actually start to learn a lesson here and don't ever be afraid of the dark it's just is what it is, okay? But you get to choose what you want. And the dark doesn't convince you of anything because this is your life, not the dark's life. Okay? You get to be whatever you want to be. <sighs> Do you want to choose love? And the, my spirit guides are saying that it would be very powerful for you once you make this decision because this journey is giving you, um, it's going to create two pathways. You're at a fork in the road. So this session is the fork in the road. You will either go this way or you will go this way. Like that's what they're showing me. And think about it, okay? So in, they, they show me that if you are courageous enough or if you feel this is right for you or however you want to look at it and you say out loud I'm ready to learn more about love and I don't want to push love away I want to welcome love in I want to learn more about my own inner love and light I'm ready to let the love help me and heal me of the hurts inside myself. If you say that out loud, I swear you're going to feel a vibration and you're going to feel like um, an iceberg just cracked into two. And now you're starting to go in a different direction than you would have ever gone before. 
because I will say if you didn't get this journey, I don't see that you would have changed. I see that you would have stayed the same. But this is creating a possibility for you of something new and more abundant than you've ever known. And it's warm. All right, it's getting really, really twisted in this place and loud and they're all not going to let you go. But the more that you find the light inside yourself and you start welcoming the light to guide you out, out of this, um, they're freaking out, which is creating more and more and more and more and more difficulty in allowing you to leave. But I... I mean, the problem is, is you've become so connected to this frequency that you don't know what's on the other side of it. So you don't have anything else to work with. So it's hard to leave it. I say, okay, let's do something different here. Because I'm not gonna, I don't encourage you to just like try to get out the door here. Like just, I, we need to do some kind of reconciliation. So that way you come to peace with it. And you're laying it to rest, okay? We're not getting overwhelmed by it and trying to run away from it. We're actually just simply choosing to reconcile it. So you have both of your hands. And we're back to just one troll. And um, you're trying to get her off of you. And she, she's like glue, super glued on kind of thing. And I say, don't force this. Just don't worry about what it looks like. I want you to look into this troll. And I want you to explore what it reminds you of. You're doing that. You say, it, it's like, um, it would be something like, it's like dreams coming true in a way. Just hear me out on this one. It's like, um, you ever, you ever want to have a certain type of experience like that your heart is loud and it is moved and it is desiring it from a d deep place. And um, something about life was hollow and not providing or um, fulfilling to that feeling of hollowness. And um, so to fulfill the hollowness within, um, the dream come true may help, but it never comes. Um, but in this place, for some reason, this image um, is a reflection of what the dream come true is, okay? Okay which obviously is out of balance because you are out of balance. The energy is going to reflect differently as your energy balance changes. This is why when it comes to relationships, I tell people, a lot of people want a relationship because they're broken and they just need to feel loved. Broken people attract broken relationships. Um, you have to heal yourself. Then you raise your vibration and now you attract an opportunity that can actually become something. So brokenness here looks, it is creating this really out of balance exchange, but it has something to do with holding onto a dream, but there's all this hollowness and unresolved conflict and now this dark soul, etc. And now we have this place. So she's transforming into something a little more attractive and she looks like a, a vampire with silver hair. She's really good looking and kind of um, gothic and good looking. <laughs> and she's standing up now and looking you in the eye and she's seducing you and telling you to stay with her because she can be anything that you want. And I start to see that it's merely this... Um, and this entity that's feeding off all this energy, the entity is actually projecting another version of itself here. So 
this is all an exchange between you two direct exchange and it's two it's male two male energies there's there's your masculine energy and this being is masculine energy too and it's as if your brothers And now that the cat's out of the bag, you know, your your eyes aren't as confused. Like it's so, like a memory is uh, coming to you. It just kind of gets shut off again. And everything goes back to just give me what you desire and I'll give you what you desire. And we can desire each other and we can stay here forever and it can feel wonderful forever. But it's all a fake. It's all a lie. It's all illusion. And it's not for you. It's for this other being. And that's what this other being wants out of his life. What do you want out of your life? Okay, so you, uh, you this is going to have to get worse before it gets better. So you... You tell um, her that um, you desire her and you desire her in these specific ways, like you want to have these types of experiences. And you start going back to feeling numb and you can't actually just watch the experiences, but you don't actually get to feel it. You only feel like 10% of it at best. And the tacks are still there that you can't feel. I don't know what it is about these tacks, but it's like, you should be able to feel that pain. That should freaking be obvious. <laughs> you can't feel it. And you can't feel this pleasure either. And you just want more time here. So literally, I, I'm i creating a time room basically where we're going to get a million years in of this. That's what you want. I started to see you decay and rot. But it doesn't matter. And I start to see that all of your energy is being sucked dry by this other being. But you can still watch. It's extremely manipulative. You're turning into bones that somehow can feel 10% of pleasure. And there's tax still somehow there. <laughs> you just need more time. You just need more time. And clap my hands really loud and I say wake up time is up you're done you say please 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 I can't cope with it I don't I can't deal with it no I'm not done yet I'm not I need more time I need more time no please please don't I, I can't keep, deal with it please My spirit guides are showing me everything is going in reverse really, 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 really fast. And we're coming back to the beginning again of this journey. And then the question is, what is it that you want out of life? Do you want love to heal you, to help you, to nurture you? Or do you want it to manipulate you and keep you trapped in a state of manipulation for millions of years and Don't go crying if you choose manipulation and it imprisons you and you find out one day and it's not what you wanted it to be. Own up to that choice. They're showing me something else that they don't want you to know too much about. Because you're easily manipulated by the wrong information. So I see this um, extraordinary angel. And she's female. She's absolutely beautiful. And she's welcoming you to be with her in heaven. But you don't care about heaven or love. You just find her attractive. So how is that going to build a relationship between you and love? Because you're not getting it. 
love isn't attraction it's it's discovery it's nurture it's support it's acknowledging what hurts inside and feelings of hurt and crying sometimes and asking for help through processing these painful emotions in order to continue to heal and continue on the pathway back home because you have a home energy space and you I mean you will be familiar with it when you get there but you have to make some choices on what you want and it's not going to work if you choose it superficially well of course I want love but that's superficial it's I am ready for the long haul with love and I know it's going to be hard but I know it's going to be amazing too and I know it's going to teach me some things that I need to know and it's going to open me up and it's going to let me become the light that I am again and let go of all of this other stuff. This is called a journey with love. So it's going to be days and weeks and months and years and lifetimes. But again, you choose. You can spend eternity with this other energy. But it looks like this. And it is the weakest you you could possibly be. I do, I can hear you from the inside and I can hear you say that thank you, I, I need some time to process this is quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, you're genuinely saying that and I say that's great. I give two thumbs up there because I get it. Okay, I want to tell you one more thing, just one more thing. You actually come and you give me a hug and it was genuine. And then I see this twin brother, quite dark, but it's also, it's different from you, but it also reminds me of you, which it is you. It's just a twin self. And you're slight there's a slight imprisonment here with that part of yourself and that part of yourself is just as much a part of your life as all the parts of you so you do have the ability to love and give exchanges of love but you got to deal with this twin self it's just like a battle with your inner self okay but it's it's i mean we could go into this more deeply it's complex but that you, I want you to see that too, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. This was hard. This is hard for you. But I actually think that it takes courage to get a session like this. It takes ridiculous courage to... And it takes ridiculous courage to listen to a session like this. And I commend you for that, big time. So, it's a very unique experience. And I want to thank you very much for allowing me to have the opportunity to connect with you today. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you everybody for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.